Joey Ito. I'm the director of the MIT Media Lab and have a couple of other roles like the chairman of Creative Commons and board member of Knight Foundation and the um, Mozilla Foundation and the MacArthur Foundation. So my main job is director of the Media Lab and my problem used to be that I was interested in everything. And it turns out the Media Lab, you can be interested in everything because there's somebody at the Media Lab that's also interested in that. And this thing that used to be a bug, the fact that I was sort of scattered everywhere, it turns out that in this massively antidisciplinary nature that is the Media Lab, I can now focus on directing this undirected thing. And so to me, it feels like I finally um, found my tribe. It's kind of, um, I gave a uh, graduation talk the other day to my graduates, and it really feels, I don't know if you remember the first scene in um, X-Men, where all the kids with these superpowers feel like misfits everywhere they are, and then they show up at this school and they realize that the, the things that used to be problems are actually features, and they kind of come together in a family. And that's what it feels like. It feels like I finally found my family, a family of all the people who are um, weird and don't fit in anywhere else. And so that's what excites me the most, is now to be among my people. So to me, happiness, I think of happiness in, in kind of a Buddhist sense of the word happiness, because I think that a lot of happiness in the Western sense is about kind of exponential growth and getting the new car that you get used to and you need a new car. And so happiness is kind of a pursuit of some sort of unattainable fulfillment and goals. Um, the Buddhist word for happiness, when you think about like Dalai Lama and others, they talk about happiness being much more about community, about family, about these sustainable things. So having happiness and being in a really great environment, you don't get more happiness by doubling the size of your family or whatever. And so for me, while we do have you know aspirations of growth and, and things that we continue to need to improve, to me I'm extremely happy right now because I feel like I'm in a community of people who are sort of bonded by this um, uh, sense of mission, sense of camaraderie, this sense of sort of um, passion um, for working together. And so to me, um, just um, being sur surrounded by people and, and feeling that all of the energy and the work that I put in um, is sort of, you know, exponentially appreciated um, by, by the community that I'm in. That, that, that makes me tremendously happy right now. Half of my life has been doing crazy volunteer work, whether it's the board of ICANN or the board of the Open Source Initiative. Or you know, I feel sometimes it, like ICANN board really wasn't fun. It felt like jury duty, but it's you have to do it because the internet gave to me so much of my life that I feel like I need to help. Um, but you know, when you meet all the people who actually do stuff on the internet, um, they're not doing it because they don't like something else. You know, they're doing it because they're passionate about it, and they're so passionate. And I, I worked in computer security for a while, and I, 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 I would guess that there were periods in history where a dozen people could have taken the internet down. And that would have freaked a lot of people out if they really believed that. But you know what, they didn't. You know, and, 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 the, and the thing that I think is really amazing is that people don't really trust volunteers to be high quality, to be smart, to be organized, to be responsible. But, but they are, you know, and a lot of the fundamental things, whether you're talking about Linux and all these other things, it's, you know, it's, it's, it's passion driven. And, and there's a great um, paper in the Harvard Business Review by Yohai Benkler talking about, um, about why people do things, you know, and um, most people, I mean, for some reason, the economists have gotten us around this idea that everybody does things for enlightened self-interest. At the end of the day, it's to make more money, to have more utility. But you know what, most, if you think about your day, you know, what do you do most of the time? A lot of what you do is because you like to collaborate, or you like to have fun, or it's fun to help, you know. And, and you know, and, and there, you have extra, like um, Clay Shirky uses the term cognitive surplus. You have a surplus of brain power and energy. And it turns out that, you know, passionate people making a website about, you know, rock and roll are probably going to do a better job than the professionals, right? And so to me, this idea of volunteer energy with passion, creating higher quality. I'm on the board of the Mozilla Foundation. We do Firefox, you know, and I, I think we do a pretty good job, you know. And so, so to me, I think that this kind of, the, the fact that the word professional makes it as a compliment you know, is a weird thing. Oh, that looks very professional. I mean, you don't say that about um, about friends. Oh, yeah, I'm glad you're professionally my friend. Here's a dollar or a lover, right? You don't want professional lovers. Well, maybe you do, but but that's not. But you know, it doesn't. 
equate high quality. So it, it's weird that when we're talking about building things, that for some reason being paid makes it somehow better. Um, I really think that people who do things for the passion um, are, are more likely um, to do good stuff. And, and, and the great thing is you can s sort of have hybrids too, right? I mean, the Media Lab people, we get paid, but I think primarily the reason that they're there is because of the passion. So, you know, when I left the media business and went into internet, I realized that the internet's created, created in layers. So you do the network layer, it requires interoperability. Because interoperability is the ability for things to connect with each other and, um, and connect freely and with low friction that allowed networks to become cheap and interoperable. And the web also allowed content to become cheap and interoperable. Um, the friction right now is that, that the legal layer um, things aren't interoperable. You know, you, um, students can't access academic papers. Um, you can't crawl databases. All this stuff, if that, if it could just connect, like Wikipedia uses a Creative Commons license, it grows because its ability for the co content to be mixed to each, with itself, without um, without restriction, so that each layer of the internet created an explosion of innovation by reducing friction and creating interoperability. And right now, the next layer up, where the tremendous amount of friction is holding back creativity, innovation, and growth and value is this legal layer. And it looks a lot, because I'm an internet person, it looks a lot like the other layers like TCP IP and um, HTML. And the solution for it is slightly different, but it's, 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 it's similar in many ways. And so I think if we tackle that problem, we'll, we'll just open um, s so much opportunity in education, entertainment, creativity, academics, and, and, it, it, and without it, I think we have, you know, to use the talking heads, Al album title, it's, we've got sand in the Vaseline.